let's make no mistake about it, hardcore tennis fans are crazy and not that football fan type of fun crazy, but they are this type of crazy. And I found that out through my own experience. I recently made a video called Novak Djokovic wins, again. And I'm tired of it. Was I baiting people a bit with this title? Of course I was, but if you had spent at least 20 seconds watching this video, you would understand that I have no ill will towards Noah. But it didn't stop some people with an alleged IQ of 138 from commenting some absolute bull. I'll show some of the best examples on the screen, but when you read comments like these, you must have some questions to ask, such as how much dick riding you have to do, how many gallons of piss you have to drink to think of something like that, how many brain cells must be lost before writing such comment. And I can go on with these questions, but the most important one would be how did this uniquely obsessive fandom start in tennis? Because there isn't a sport in which favorite players are perceived as some sort of pillars that hold up the society like it is in tennis. Mate, they hit a ball over the net and moan endlessly. But if I only paid attention to fan interactions on Twitter or any other social media platform, I would think that they are guardians of the galaxy or some shit. And I'm not an expert, but I fear that the world would be able to function without tennis, which seems like could be surprising for some. And it doesn't matter how many times you call tennis a gentleman's sport in an attempt to gatekeep, it's still a sport. So act like a sports fan, support your favorites in a tennis sense. Stop talking about the political and economic state of the world right now like you are Jaina Smith or something. I get that sport is life to some but it's really not that serious as hardcore fans portray it as. And if it comes to it and you hate a player, then do it like a normal person as well. Call Rafa a butt sniffer or call Djokovic a crazy man. Come up with something amusing and stop acting like a Karen at every single inconvenience. I admit, I myself am not a saint in regards of hating either. There are players whom I truly dislike, Tsitsipas being the best example of that, and I have made numerous videos showing my disdain towards him. But I have never said that stupid fucking phrase that I hate, which for some reason is so prominent in the tennis world. Which is, he is a disgrace to our sport. Want to know why I have never said that? It's because what the fuck does our sport even mean? And secondly, you sound like an absolute cunt when you say that. Especially when those so-called disgraces are the ones that popularize the sport that you supposedly love and make it more enticing for the outside world. Tennis as a sport is actually trying to branch out of that elitist aura with their Netflix show, activity on social media, etc, etc. And there are things that they could and should improve on. But to be fair, Tennis World seems like a tight-knit group that nobody wants to do deal with. So it's not a surprise that the sport is not growing in popularity as rapidly as it could. So now call me crazy if you feel like it, but I think a bit of empathy and acceptance of some characters in the game would benefit tennis as a whole. Comment your opinion down below as to why some hardcore fans are so fucking weird. Subscribe to the channel for more genuine tennis discourse and until next time, take it easy my friend.